When Bear Country's cubs learn pollution's a fact, they help grown-ups learn to clean up their act. See? When we do the work together, it makes a big job smaller. And easier. Uh-huh. And more fun. <laughs> Any homework this weekend? We have an Environment Week project to do about ways to help protect nature in bear country and the world around us so it won't get spoiled. But we don't have any ideas yet. Hmm. I didn't think the environment in bear country needed any help. It's as beautiful as ever, because we all recycle to keep it that way. What? Well, tomorrow's Saturday. So why don't you visit Professor Actual Factual? At the Bersonian Institution. That's a great idea, Mama. The professor always has lots of helpful hints. Hey, I just noticed something. A chair's missing. Where'd it go? One and seven eighths. Papa? <gasps> oh, no. Oh. What are you doing under there? Oh, oh, just working on my most exciting furniture project ever. Huh? <laughs> wow! It belongs to Squire and Lady Grizzly. They have asked yours truly, Papa Q Bear, to make a set of chairs to match. It's made out of bumbleberry wood. Bumbleberry wood? Yes, indeed. You don't see much of it around anymore. It's a difficult wood to work with, but it makes the most beautiful furniture. I've never seen such a beautiful table. Congratulations, Papa. Your chairs are going to be really something. You betcha. They're going to be my furniture-making masterpieces. Hi, Professor! Why, if it isn't brother and sister bear, what a wonderful surprise. Well, it seems that this Allosaurus doesn't have a leg to stand on. I thought I'd help him out a bit. What do you think? Cool. Well, I'm glad that you approve. He's part of a new exhibit about extinct and endangered species. Extinct? Does that mean he smells? Oh, <laughs> good gracious, no. Extinct means there's none of them left anymore. Oh, I'm sure glad he's one of the extinct ones. <laughs> He'd be a handful, all right. <sighs> now then, what brings you here today? We need some ideas for an Environment Week project we're doing for school. Ah, splendid! Well, let's go. Go? Where to, Professor? Oh, to look at the environment and see what we can see. The actual factual mobile awaits. That sure is a cool car, Professor. Mm, it's solar powered. Oh, uh, that means it uses energy from the sun to run instead of gasoline. <laughs> exactly. Using gasoline and oil puts bad stuff into the air, but not sunlight. And uh, who says conservation can't be cool? Recycling's good for the environment, right, Professor? It most certainly is, brother. Every time we use something over again, it cuts down on the amount of trash we throw away. Gee, Professor, what happens to all the other stuff we throw away? A very good question, sister. That's exactly what I'm about to show you. Everything in bear country that doesn't get recycled and reused goes right to what I call Trash Mountain. It's a whole mountain of... Garbage. Ew. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's just too much trash. And that's a problem for the environment, right, Professor? A problem that keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger, just like Trash Mountain. Right and right. But maybe you two can figure out some ways to help solve this problem for your Environment Week project. But Trash Mountain is too big for us to fix. <laughs> well, not necessarily. Sometimes, little ideas can help fix the biggest problems. It never hurts to discuss things with grown-ups, either. Ew! Ugh. Look at all the garbage! 
<sighs> That's another environment problem for Bear Country. And so is this. A sample to add to my extinct and endangered species display. But I thought endangered species were just animals, Professor. Well, animals, plants, and even trees can become extinct or endangered. In a lot of places, trees are being cut down faster than they can grow back. Uh, like the tree this chip came from, for example. It's a little more special than the others because it only grows in bear country. It's called a bumbleberry tree. A bumbleberry tree? That's right. Not very many of them left, I'm afraid. Not many at all. Papa? Oh! oh. <laughs> Have you come to see the master at work? <laughs>